Hello, I'm Noah Vortex and welcome to a new web series I'm doing on um, basic web design and learning basic coding, so the fundamentals of um, learning HTML, CSS and a bit of JavaScript and Bootstrap. So, um, give some context, HTML is stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So what that basically means, without going into a lot of technical detail, is text on the web pages, which is um, you can navigate through hyperlinks and other associated tags. Now I'll cover these terms in a bit, but basically what HTML is is a way of um, structuring content on the internet. So on web pages, every web page you have seen on the internet will have on some level a HTML or uh, XML which I won't cover now but uh, aspects to it in terms of how the content the content being the words is structured and images etc um, but in this first lesson what we're going to do is cover um, creating a CV now this will go in three different levels um, three different tutorials so this first tutorial, the HTML tutorial, is we are going to define and create the HTML for a simple web page to with a CV presenting curriculum vitae. So with a job title, a picture as well, because it's a web page, so it's going to be a bit more funky than the normal CV, which is pretty cool. Uh, potentially a video, we might do. We could, I could add that as an optional, and uh, information about your job history, etc., etc. So, um, I guess um, there's no point really going over the history of the HTML, of HTML but I will link to things below which cover all that. Um, so I'll just go through a few conceptual things I suppose. So, HTML, uh, in HTML you have these things called tags. Now tags is a way to define how certain parts of content, for example a word or a picture will appear in your web browser. The web browser being the Internet Explorer. It rarely is now, I think Internet Explorer has been phased out, but Chrome, uh, most of the time it's going to be Chrome, Firefox, etc, etc. So whatever browser you use to uh, use the internet is essentially, what happens is, is you have a HTML file or any, it could be a number of different um, file names but without keeping it simple in a basic level a dot html file dot hypertext markup language file is a structured um, hypermedia um, website file I guess essentially so tags tags are a piece of language which tells the web browser how to present a piece of information. HTML tag, the, uh, the head tag, the body tag, and um, header tags, um, image SLC tags, and peak tags, which is a very important one that's used often, and um, that was it for this lesson. It should essentially be about 20 minutes long. Um, now, in HTML as well, we're going to be using the HTML5, which is the newest version of HTML, and the most up to date one, and the most current one, and the one that is recommended really to use at this point. Um, I will link again to a historical um, articles on the development of how HTML is developed as a um, as a paradigm in the web, um, but we are going to be working with HTML5, which is the newest standard. And I'll, I'll link to W3C standards. Um, W3C is World Wide Web Consortium. It's basically the standards organisation for how uh, HTML evolves. And it's also a very useful resource. So if you get stuck or anything, I'd recommend looking at that because you can literally troll through everything. But uh, okay, so. 
in HTML, one of the major kind of things to bear in mind. Um, how you structure HTML is very important. You want to always have, so for example, if you had a very basic, um, say for example, I was saying headers before. So that if you want to make the, and headers come in five different flavors from H1, which is the largest font size, you can get defined of HTML, H5 being the smallest. Uh, H1, if you want to example, um, say hello world on your uh, HTML file, you would, for that specific tag in the content, you would type, um, tag and I'll show the symbols which you use for that. So you use the left uh, arrow H1 within that right arrow um, H1 and then you put right in text hello world and then to close it off you would type you would again type left arrow and then um, forward slash H1 and then right arrow. Um, so, what that essentially does is just tell the uh, browser that you want that piece of content to have the size H1. And that, in a nutshell, for HTML, is um, how most tags in HTML operate. So the the most basic fundamental syntax, because there are other levels to it, but this is the most basic syn syntax that you have to learn at first. Um, so and same would go for um, paragraphs. So you'd have same syntax again, left left arrow, which is on the English keyboard, is on the bottom right next to the arrow, question mark usually. Um, left arrow button P. Right arrow button P, and then whatever text you want to put in, it could be a sentence in this instance, and then left arrow P, forward slash P, and that's it. You can also self close tags as well. Um, doesn't really only really applies to certain tags, because um, for example P, you need to have containing content to know what that is containing within. But um, without wanting to complicate things too much, we'll touch more on this in the CSS episode. Um, you can also have divs which control layout in HTML. Now this first episode isn't covering divs because this is an uh, aspect that requires um, a CSS element which CSS is all to do with presentation so um, adding, a f adding kind of visual style and layouting in HTML for HTML5 but all we're focusing on in this lesson is purely defining HTML content and getting you guys used to using HTML tags and the kind of syntax of how that works. So I've given a few examples there, I've yabbered for a bit. So we're now going to dive into the code. So so here we go starting the tutorial. Uh, and I'll start this off with a bit of a random point actually, it's kind of a, in some ways it's a moot point but something I find very very useful when I'm coding is uh, to listen to music. So the minute I've got Interstellar by Hans Zimmer, uh, Interstellar soundtrack playing, which you shouldn't be able to hear, but I find that's always useful to go. The IDE I'm using for this exercise is Visual Studio Code. It's a very powerful IDE that um, you can download for free as well, which is even better. Um, and now an IDE is just basically where you organise your code, type your code. You will get prompts when you've um, uh, when you've put something in that's incorrect, which is useful. And you can also um, interact directly with um, GitHub if you use that. And um, various other development tools, but that's going way ahead of ourselves, so I'm not going to go into that, so ignore that for now. So, first things first, I've already created a um, folder for this project, so oh, if I can find it, where is it? Um, 
to have to. I thought I had the. I don't know, it's here. Oh, sorry. Anyway, so. I have the. Um, let's full screen this up. I'm just going to full screen this for myself. So this is the um, this is Visual Code. I'll just talk about this, how you can use this. So uh, this is just whichever file you've got open at the present. So we've got index HTML open, which is our HTML file we're working on. And I'll talk very briefly about some of these um, tags and what they're doing then it should become a lot more apparent having seen the code as to what these um, what each tag does I suppose or what the function of each tag is so this is a basic very basic template for HTML5 um, page which I've just downloaded from the internet to save time um, and this is how in modern HTML you would get things started essentially so We've got our doc type here. Doc type is very important because it basically tells the browser what version of HTML we're using or what kind of HTML we're using. In this instance, it's HTML5, and that this um, is how you, this piece of text here is how you define this version of HTML. We're putting HTML language English, but that's not what we're worrying about now because it's too far ahead. Um, okay, a very useful concept probably to. And I'll just split this out to make it a little bit more easier to understand of this for now. We've got head here. And then you'll see you've got head kind of like light grey there and head light grey there with that um, forward slash in at the end of it. So what this is essentially saying is that everything within this tag head and you can also get prompt, which is also a very useful element of visual code. So it tells us literally what that piece of that HTML tag does, which is very, very useful as you um, go along doing coding. So the head element, and it is a very important element in um, HTML because further down the line, we'll be using it to uh, link to style sheets, which this has already got in there, actually. There's no, it's not linked to anything as present. Um, is this is where you put in things like the title which is like a title for the document or the, the title that basically comes up in your web browser uh, out on the top of the page you know like the, the tab basically so I'll change that now I'll change that so and I'll show you what effect this has on the um, actual file itself so just let me boot this up there we go see here so I just opened up the index file in Chrome. Uh, now at the minute you can see there it says HTML5 Herald. And that, oh, sorry. That, uh, so this, that is what that is controlling within the web browser. So we're going to change this to my CV. Um, my CV, and you can change it to basically anything you want. I'll press Ctrl and S, or which is a save shortcut, and shortcuts will become your a very much thing that you do. So there you see, it changes straight away to my CV. So HTML, as soon as you've saved, committed that save, it will instantly change the content. Uh, meta is just meta content, basically. Um, not really important to go into that now, but it's basically just. Uh, useful for search engines. Don't worry about that. Okay, so we've got the head element, which, like I said, is where you put in all your style sheets. Style sheets are basically the next lesson, um, as I said before, and then you um, you can put in lots of meta information there as well. So let's get into this a bit more. Let's start writing something. So next, a very crucial, and it is very very crucial element is the body tag which you create with this body and end tag bog it body end tag is the terminology now I'll use instead of going into all you know having to say a laborious sentence every time that I describe what that is 
So hopefully you understand now the concept of opening and closing tags. There, are, there is more I need to cover on that, but we'll um, go through that as we go through this exercise. So let's go ahead and write our first bit of HTML. So holding down shift key and then click, um, what, you, what you do basically to create a tag and it's been so much long since I, I learned this that I kind of assume that everyone thinks it's second nature but it really isn't I suppose if you're a beginner is you press hold down your shift key and where you've got um, a comma a comma you press and you should come up with an icon like that now what we're going to do first is we want to put your name and then CB so I'm going to type well first I need to type the tag so and you, you, you also get a lot of list of potential tags which is very useful um, so we're going to get our first little bit of code now I think just to stick to tradition I'm going to do a traditional hello world within this h1 tag because it's the way that we all begin on this journey so what I've just then just done then is Types tag h1 open tag hello world type the text in the content which is being um, interpreted and changed and then you know put a close tag h1 now we save that and by the magic of web of html poof there we go we've got hello world that comes up there well done if you've got that far you have taken the first step into web mastery and it's the start of a long journey a long and sometimes frustrating journey but one that's sort of really worth it so as you can see i can change anything i can put anything in there. i can literally put you know that and it would still the um the tags have no effect on the well this tag has no effect on the content apart from it defines the size of this that's the size of, is what's being changed there so that's important to bear in mind as well. So I'll go off that. So I'll change that to my, I'll put, I'll put Noir Vortex just to be cool, uh, CV. There we go. And so we've got the top of our um, CV now. What I want to do next is I suppose I'm going to start mapping. Um, actually, I'm not going to go on to that yet. Um, so, I think what we'll do next is introduce you to a few other commonly used tags. So, other tags that you'll be using commonly is P. This is very easy to remember, it's a very easy way to remember it. It just means paragraph, essentially. So, um, if I just put. I'll put a little bit of writing here. You can put in, lip, um, you can put in whatever you want, really. Like, essentially, again. You can put in whatever you want, and the HTML will just spit it out the content with the um, whatever uh, markup you're putting it in. But I will say, I'll put something like this is the, the, the CV of Noir Vortex. I mean, it's a bit of a funny one. Um, cyberpunk private detective for hire in Nexus. City 2K. Obviously, that's a bit of a. Uh, my oh, H1 P. Let's just see what that does. Let's have a look at this now. So, there you go. All that content's changed. And as you can see, that this here is H1. That's big, nice title. This is um, paragraph. So, and you'll also notice as well that it's, natu it's broken down to the next line. So, the HTML5 knows that this uh, H1 and the P um, the P creates breaks down onto another line. Now we can go into this more on how this can be manipulated and changed with CSS, but again, next lesson that is. For now, all we're doing is creating a very basic um, well, structuring and introduction to the uh, HTML. So we've got that, so in, what we probably need next is um, a bit of job history. So 
Oh, yeah, we'll do job history search. We'll go on to image. Image will be the last thing we do, and I'll do that last of all because it's a bit more complicated. So, next we are going to write. I'll introduce you to a very, very similar tag, but it's, it's it'll be important, I think, to um, get it stuck into your head the difference between different types of headers. So, we've got H1, which is the largest size, H2. Next one down, H3, etc., to 5 or 6, actually. I should know that. <laughs> Always forget. I know, but I rarely use 6 if you're way. Um, so, what we're going to write next is a. Um, we're going to write our first job, or our last job, in fact, because that's how you do it on a CV. So, we're going to write employer. I'm going to put. Um, to put job history first, just to confuse it a bit, but this will actually demonstrate quite easily well how how you can just use H tags as well, which is a useful lesson I think. Employer, so I'll put H2 here, so bearing in mind H1, H2, H3. Employer, and it's going to be a cyber, cyber sock industries, which is made up. Probably actually exists, I don't know. Uh, and then I'm going to just write, um, go through this and then I'll describe what I'm doing. I dealt with cyber security for this large shadowy organisation based in the basement of. A, a cyber security organization. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's go break some of this up for a second. All I'm doing now is just um, uh, tabbing through it along. That is, I mean, this this becomes a lot more useful when um, uh, when you're just formatting code with divs, but you do just raw HTML text and stuff. Anyway, I'm going off on one of it. Let's just have a look at that. Let's save that and see what it looks like. So there you go. Job history. You've got like a little bit of a um, you know, H2, H1, H2, H3. So you can see there's a small difference in the actual size of the text as it goes down. So that's one. I'll put that ended. So, so I'll put in the um, put 2020 to 2025 because obviously this is me in the future. <laughs> Twenty thousand to twenty. Oh, misspelled industries. Sorry, it's the anal. Well, I'm not really that anal when it comes to spelling, but there we go. It kind of annoys me for someone. Cyber stock industries. Twenty twenty to twenty five. And there we go. So it's not very exciting in the minute, but you can already kind of tell how um, the HTML tags are changing the actual content on the page. So. I'm going to try to make it quite short, so I'm going to go over another basic or commonly used um, set of HTML tags. Um, well, these are very commonly used, uh, but you kind of use them in a very different way when you get to more advanced level, but we'll cover this a bit later on. There's many different ways you can use these tags, but the tags we're going to cover now are lists. List items are, as you would assume, lists. But there's just a strange way that you kind of define them, which is different to what we've already covered. So, in a to define a list item, and now what we're going to define with this list item is your skills. Um, we are going to, to put a title first, because we obviously want to structure it logically. So, we've used job history for this section above. So, I think here we'll use the same tag and um, job history. skills, key skills. I'll go UL 
and uh, okay. I want to explain these terms and just don't worry if you're not familiar with me. Okay. So, sorry, missed the time. So, this, and you've got an open tag here, closed tag there. But then we've also got this li thing in there. I'm sure you're not. I'm sure you're scratching your head potentially at what that actually means. Um. So what's happening here is you have UL, which basically tells uh, the browser um, that we're creating a list. LI, what LI does is take on is a list. It becomes a list item. So it's like UL is basically telling it there's going to be a list here, and then LI is the actual list itself, essentially. So let's just write some of the things in here. So I'm going to do uh, hacking computers. Hacking, ethical. Better put that in there because anyone gets wrong ideas about <laughs> what I do with spare time. Uh, not that I don't even hack anything, but in the wild, it's just computers. Uh, it's not obviously not real, it's just kind of just completely made up. Uh, kicking butt. <laughs> I'm saying bucks, I'm not sure what the late age mode it's going to be. Um, Cyber investigation. Okay, this is kind of turning into an adolescent um, daydream, but that's alright. Uh, cyber security and analysis. So we're going to get this done and then I'll move on to. Okay, move on to the next thing. Which is going to be the image, and then all done for this tutorial. For basic level. What else? Show ethical hacking computers, kicking butt, subscript analysis, coding in many languages. I mean. uh, yeah, so we'll save that. Load up the browser again. Uh, refresh it. So by, by clicking refresh, or so there we go. Key skills: hacking computers, kicking butt, cyber analysis, coding in many languages. Um, I'll put like a little bit at the bottom just to say get in touch if you like. Um, I'll please contact me for references. Um, obviously, a, long, a CV would be longer than this, but this is covering the very basics. At this point, we just want to cover really basic stuff because I'm making this for complete beginners, this course. It's not for experienced coders. So, there we go. So, what we've done here, we've used six or seven different tags H1, paragraph, H2. H3, paragraph, H3, UL, LI, and uh, H2. So we've actually created quite a lot. Now we're going to kind of take it to another level by adding a little picture. And I'm going to try and find a suitable picture of my face. That's definitely not a suitable one. <laughs> I just saw that. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll go for quite a funny one. This is a funny little Edward Scissorhands version of my face I did. <laughs> um, so I've got to do a little bit of preamble for this. So at present our index file is in a folder called my CV if you followed the instructions of given straight away. So we need to navigate to that folder. And now this is very important. What we're going to do next is place this image into the uh, HTML file. I want to change the name of that because it's stupid. Let's put CB. Just renaming the folder. What I need to do next? Um, really, the best practice for this would be to do um, new images, new folder and images. We'll do that actually. Uh, it kind of won't make loads of sense at first, but trust me, it is the best way to do this. It's the, that's really the only way that's proper. So we're in. This is our index file here, which is all the code there, and we've got an images folder now where we've put we've got a JPEG of me looking suitably uh, scissor hands. So time to introduce you to another uh, image image tag, and I'll again just to add another level of complication, as opposed to 
much stuff you're going to have to understand, but it will kind of make sense. We are going to do use an image source tag, which is very common. Um, uh, this is a common, a, a common HTML tag you'll be using a lot, especially in web development if you want to get into that. So, what I've done here is I've opened a tag. That, it's above H1, um, so it's good. Oh, actually, I want to do it below that. So let's get here. Image SRC, which stands for source. We put it in a folder because this is the source is basically pointing to where that um, that image is in relative to the index.html file, which hopefully intuitively makes sense to you, or what I said, in reference to itself, if that makes sense. So relative, rel relative to itself, obviously. So the folder, the directory is the structure relative to itself. And it's, what was it called again? I just need to check the file name. You have to get the file names exactly right, otherwise it just won't work. CV pick. And also, very important thing which caught me out so many different times before, you have to get the file format correct. So I've, that image I've produced is a JPEG. And there's lots of different forms of images you can use, like GIF. G uh, GIF or GIF, however you want to pronounce it, uh, JPEG, I'm not going to get an art debate, <laughs> PNG, etc. Usually the best for web is uh, JPEG because it's compressed so it doesn't take up lots and lots and lots of uh, space. Okay, and then we close that. Now this should, this will just, should just come in as a, as the size it is. Hopefully it does load. Or is I'm going to look a bit silly, aren't I? There we go. So it's loading at full size in a minute, but it looks kind of silly. Um, yeah, it looks alright actually, but obviously it's a very, very large picture of my face. So um, don't worry much too about too much about this bit now, but I'll just I'm gonna give it a width with the HTML. Now usually I wouldn't do this. I'd usually I will go on to well basically what we'll do, and it's also quite an important lesson actually in a lot of respects, is we'll increment this design on the next lesson. So what I'm doing now is setting a width for the image in the HTML, but that's not the way you should really do it, to be honest, not the best way to do it, because if you imagine this taken further, we're going to have to, um, what if we had 500 images, we don't want to have to be setting the width individually on each one, or we don't want to, um, you know, we don't want it so that if we change, if we want to change all of them, we have to literally go through 500 image HTML tags and go through and change each one, which is where the power of CSS comes into. But for now, this is the first version, the first lesson. We will change that. There you go. Boof. We've got a nice little um, image there of Chris Scissorhands. Um, and probably one more thing I'll do. I'll put a link to my website, cover that very quickly. So, uh, again, it's another thing to learn, but it's not really that difficult to kind of pick up on this one. It's quite similar to image SRC. So, we are going to be doing a. Oh, what we're doing now is going to, I'm going to create a link to my website. We do that with an ahref which is basically just creating a hyperlink to wherever. So it could be somewhere internal to the website or it could be somewhere on the internet in general. So you can link it to it on your version. You can link it to anywhere. You can link it to Google. Uh, you can link it to um, whatever. I mean, like a, uh, so I'm just going to link to my actual website and I'll check it works in a second. Okay. There we go. I'll put the uh, please my website so I'll talk through this a bit in a sec okay. so href is just a hyperlink reference basically is what that means um, so come up with yeah. hyperlink hypertext anchor this is the web address for where we want to this link which says my website to go to take the user to in the which is really essentially the most basic form of hypertext. So let's just, so I can see that's what it works because it says it there. And we'll just buzz this up. It was my internet hasn't crashed, it hasn't. Nope. There we go, that's my blog site. So there we go. That is our first tutorial, and I, I hope you find it useful. 
I'll do a little bit of uh, summing up now and um, yeah, look, hopefully you've not losing hope enough to go on to the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, okay, so you should have just hopefully got through to the end of the tutorial, uh, watched it through and hopefully kind of getting a feel for what HTML is about and how exactly it works and how exactly it structures content on the web. Um, the next lesson is going to be on CSS, which is the presentational side of uh, front-end development and front-end website, essentially. So um, please leave me comments below if you feel I could improve presentation or improve, um, or, you know, slow down how I talk or whatever, or if I could explain things. But I'm really trying to explain things which are going to be easy to understand for a lay person who's just starting out with this stuff. So. Um, yeah, as an overview, we've covered uh, basic tags that are commonly used in HTML, uh, basic HTML structuring, and um, just like more of a kind of creative side as well, like listening to music, like I am now actually, in fact, when coding, because it can really get you into the zone. So I hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, please watch back for more. I'm very uh, excited to be doing this vlog series and actually share some, you know, share some knowledge about something I actually know quite a fair amount about. And I hope that it will help you and aid you in your journey to becoming a web designer, ninja, or a pirate, whichever you prefer.